the spiritual ego is a really big ego presence that is pretending and holding the image of standing in love. It is a clever disguise of fear disguised as love, fear disguised as caring, fear disguised as spiritual work. And the ego, because it, because it feels threatened, as the more we awaken, the more threatened it feels, and its sole purpose is to keep you safe and protected. It wants to protect you at all costs. It's terrified. It lives in fear. It only knows fear. So it always responds from fear. So it will do whatever it needs to do to protect you. And it will evolve and shift and change. It's a clever shift changer. When you arrive at that place where the spiritual ego is embedded or showing up, it's challenging to unwind from. And I know for me, it took a good year of unwinding from it. And I did that through my, when I did my ministry training and I became an ordained minister. It was a year long program that I took and I had a mentor who was also my soul sister and a really good friend of mine. We did a lot of deep, we do a lot of deep healing together. She was my facilitator for the course. And I had said to her, I'm going to leave no stone unturned. I want to look at everything, poke at all my wounds, call me on my stuff. I really want to get in and underneath any leftovers. And I did. And it was uncomfortable. And the moment she started poking at my spiritual ego, I could feel this dense, intense defense mechanism, this big wall, this like, like a big roar inside of me, like, don't you dare go there. Like, no, that's not an issue. You don't know what you're talking about. It was like this, like, oh, like lion coming at you like a beast coming toward her and I could feel it I could sense it and at the same time I was like oh I really want to get I want to wind from this but there's part of me that just I don't even know how to get to it I don't even know how to get underneath it because the defense was so strong so it was a process it took time but it was so worth it, it was it was some of the, the the hardest most challenging work I did on my spiritual journey is unwinding from my spiritual ego